Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club and IT Akartala. My name is Kaurav Singha and in this video we are going to solve 11th problem of diff 2a from A to OJ, arrival of the channel. The problem states that you are given the heights of n soldiers and you have to count the minimum number of time needed to form a lineup which the general will consider correct. The general thinks that the soldiers lined up correctly if the first soldier in the line has the maximum height and the last soldier has the min minimum height. Note that the way other soldiers are positioned does not matter, including the case where there are several soldiers whose height is maximum or minimum. Only the heights of the first and the last soldier are important. If you consider this example, the maximum height of the soldiers is 4 and it is placed at the first position as well as the third position. And the minimum height of the soldiers is 1 and it is placed in the 5th position as well as the 6th position. It is also given that in one second the colonel can swap any two neighboring soldiers. So if we take this example, the maximum height of the soldiers is 4 and the minimum height is 1. But the minimum height is not at the last position. To move it to the last position, it will take us one swap and then two swap so it will take us two seconds to move it to the last position if we check this example the maximum height here is 44 and it will take us one swap and the minimum height is 11 and it will take us one swap to move it to the last position so that the line is correct so the total time taken is 2 now check this example Alright, so here the maximum height of the soldier is 76 and minimum is 10. But notice that there are two 10s. You have to find on moving which 10 it will be more beneficial for us. If we consider this 10, it will take us about 5 seconds to move it from this position to the last position. And if we take this 10, it will take us 6 seconds. Now what about the maximum height that is 76? Since there is only 176, we don't have to worry about that. So it will take us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 swaps. 6 swaps to move 76 from this position to the first position. Now let's do it practically. In 1 second the 76 will be here. In 2 seconds it will be here. In 3 seconds it will be here. In 4 seconds it will be here. Now watch carefully. The current time is now 4. And we have to move this 10 to the last position. Now we are about to swap these two soldiers. In time 5, 76 will be here. And in time 6 it will be in the first position. So it took us 6 seconds to move 76 from this position to the first position. Now we have to swap this 10 to the last position. In time 7 we can swap these two soldiers and the 10 will be here. In time 8 the 10 will be here. In time 9 it will be here. And in time 10 it will be at the last position. So it took us 10 seconds to make the line correct. Let's check the answer and it is 10. Let's take another example. Okay, so the maximum height here is 9 and the minimum height here is 1. Notice that there are two 9s. It will be more beneficial for us if we move this 9 to the first position than this 9. Because to move this 9, it will take us 2 seconds and for this one, more than 2 seconds. Now what about this one? It will take us 1, 2 and 3 swaps. So for 9, it will take us 2 swaps and for 1, it will take us 3 swaps. So the total number of time will be 
2 plus 3 it is 5 so this is the case when the soldier with maximum height is positioned before the soldier with minimum height let's mark it as case 1 Now look at the second case. This is the case when the soldier with minimum height is located before the soldier with maximum height. Now look carefully. The maximum height of the soldier is 76 and the minimum height is 10. Which 76 should we consider? If we consider this 76, it will take us more number of moves to move it to the first position than this 76 because it is closer to the first position than this. Similarly out of these two tens, this 10 is closer to the end position. So we are going to work with this 10 and this 76. It will take us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 seconds to move this 10 to the end position. So let's note it down. For 10 it will take us 7 seconds. Now let's move it. Now we have to move the 76 to the first position. For this one it will take 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 seconds to move it to the first position. Now before moving it, check the position of the 76. It is located in the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then fifth index so it will take us five seconds to move it to the first position so for 76 it took us five seconds and in total the required time is 7 plus 5 equals 12 so these are the only cases of this problem now we just have to code it as an input we have to take an integer n and we have to take n number of elements now let's create an array to store the heights now what do we need to do we have to find the position of the soldier with maximum height and minimum heights. Let's do that first. Now I'm going to create two variables. One naming minimum, which will store the minimum height of the soldiers. Let's initialize it with zero. And its position. Let's say mean pos. For maximum height, we have to do the same thing. Let's create a variable called maximum and max pose to store its position. Now we just have to find the elements. Let's take the example of the second case. It was like this at first and we wanted the maximum height as closest to the first position. To find the maximum element as well as its position, we have to put if conditions like this. When the eye is 0 and pointing at the first soldier, the value of AI is 10 and it is greater than maximum because the first value of maximum was 0 and now the value of maximum is what 10 and the max position is i so now the maximum is 10 and the i is 0 when the i is 1 it will be pointing at 10 but this condition will not be satisfied so the maximum remains as 10 
and the position will stay the same. When I will be 2, it will point at 58. 58 is greater than maximum. So now the maximum will be 58. And max position will be what? 1, 2. Now I will be 3. And it will point at 31. Again this condition will not be true. So the value of maximum and max position will stay the same. Now I will be 4 and it will point at 63. So 63 is greater than 58. Now it will be updated as 63 as well as the max position. The position of 63 is 1, 2, 3, 4 that is I. So now the position is 4. Next it will be 5. Since 40 is less than 63, this condition will be false. So next I will be 6 and it will point at 11. Again it will be false. Now I will be 7 and it will be 76. And we have to update. Maximum is now 76 and the max position is 7. Next time I will be 8 and AI will be 11. Again it will be false. Next I will be 9 and AI will be 76 but again this will be false. So the max position remains as 7 and the maximum value is 76. Now for the minimum part. To find the minimum element as well as its position we have to put conditions like this. Okay, so for this condition to work, we have to initialize minimum with highest number, let's say int max. This is the maximum value of integer. When i was 0 and ai was 10, 10 is less than minimum because minimum is int max. So this will be true and value of minimum will be 10. and min position will be i it is 0 when i will be 1 a of i will be 10 and this condition will be false but earlier we found that it will be more beneficial for us if we work with this 10 so for that we have to put less than equal to sign so that we can work with this 10 now the i is 1 and it is pointing at this 10 so this is satisfied and minimum is now 10 but mean position is now 1 okay so now let's move on i is now 2 and ai is 58 58 is not less than equals to minimum that is 10 so it will be false next i will be 3 and it will point at 31 again it will be false similarly for all these elements it will be false and at the end min position will be 1 now we have found min position as well as max position as the cases we discussed earlier the first case was that the maximum height of the soldier was placed before the minimum height that was case 1 so we have to now compare these two positions to store the answer we have to create an answer variable first now put if conditions like if max position is less than mean position then the answer will be max position 
plus n minus 1 minus min position now y max position check this example the maximum element is here 9 and its position is 2 earlier we calculated that for 9 we needed 2 seconds that is the index of 9 now for mean position n minus 1 minus mean position the value of n is here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 minus 1 minus mean position is 1 2 3 4 5 because the minimum element here is 1 so 5 and it will give us 9 minus 1 is 8 and then minus 5 is 3 and earlier we calculated that for 1 it took us 3 seconds so 3 plus 2 is 5 that's how the formula works and it will give us the right answer and for case 2 that is max position greater than min position ok so here the main position is 1 this one and max position is 1 2 3 4 5 6 now let's find n minus 1 minus min position and here is 9 minus 1 minus min position it will give us 7 and earlier we calculated that to move this 10 to the last position it took us 7 seconds so this formula is given us the right answer for the mean position but what about the max position max position here is 6 but earlier we calculated that to move 76 to the first position we needed 5 seconds so whatever the answer is we just have to minus 1 to find the correct answer for this case and this will be it we now have to print the answer and now let's submit it So it is accepted. That is it for the solution. Thank you.